Look familiar? It's something I see so many people doing, the fear of bunker shots. And there really shouldn't be a fear. If you can't play bunker shots, you've got a problem with your technique. It's not as complicated as what you think. So what I did just there is exactly what I see most people do. They're thinking, oh, I don't like bunker shots. I want to get the ball up and out. And even though this hasn't got a very high lip, they're still thinking, I want to hit up. So what they're doing is as they're hitting the shot, they're falling back to their right hand side. And as a result, the club is entering the sand way behind the ball. It digs in and you can actually see there that the entry point was there. It came out there and I basically almost didn't even touch the ball. So I see that so many times. Yet, if I got someone to hold their car keys in their hands and say, so just get into your relaxed setup, tilt your spine forward, and I want you to throw the keys so that they land on the green, most people are going to do that. So when they do that, their body is turning to the left, they're transferring their weight, their weight is going from the right side to the left side, but they're not really thinking about the weight. It's more a case of the hands throwing the keys that moves forward. That is exactly the same technique we need when we play a bunker shot. We want to feel that we're doing that. And one of the things that I always get people to do, and the first drill I'm going to recommend you do, is just spend some time in the sand here, practicing getting sand out of the bunker. So we want to get into our, our spine tilted forward. The, and from there, we're just going to use a swing that gets some sand out. And you can see there that the sand is clearly coming out. So there's no danger of me falling backwards if my primary thought is, let's get sand out of the bunker. That's a really good drill. Just practice splashing sand out. Don't worry about how far out it goes. This is actually a reasonable to carry, but you just want to get sand out. The second drill that I like to uh, people to do, I'll just tidy this area up just a little bit, is I like people to have a line in the sand, just like I've drawn there. So it's right there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get that line just ever so slightly forward, maybe an inch forward of the middle of my stance. And then we think, okay, can I try and hit that line? So I look down and I've entered just, there was the line I've entered just behind. So that means I didn't move through enough. So I'll move forward and I'll have another go. Now that time I've hit in front of the line, which means I got through too fast or too early, not too fast, too early. I move forward a little bit and I'm just thinking about that line and that was a much better shot. So you can see the sand still coming out. So we're combining both of those drills. Then I put the ball just slightly forward of that line. The line is just forward of center. And then I hit the bunker shot. Hey, it just skipped on a little bit, but hey, I'm not too unhappy with that. And there was the edge of the line. My club has entered right on the edge of the line and I've hit a half decent bunker shot. So that's another good drill. We can combine the hitting the sand, the line and hitting the shot. One of the other mistakes I see people make when they're playing bunker shots is they get their angle of attack too steep and they think that the bunker shot is an explosion shot. And I want to get down really steep. But if I do that, you can see there it dug a massive big hole. We don't want to do that because that allows the leading edge to dig in to the sand. And once that leading edge digs in, it's going to get stuck in the sand and you're going to hit it fat. So if you've hit these shots where the ball looks like it's going to come out and it doesn't, your leading edge has probably dug in too much.
So we want to utilize the bounce of the club or the back of the club as much as we can. So to do that, we want a shallow angle of attack. So it's a bit like a driver swing. It's a, a U shape, a nice wide U shape. What we don't want in the bunker is a V shaped swing. If I do that V-shaped swing, my landing area and my entry point has to be absolutely precise. If I do my shallow angle of attack, I don't have to be anywhere near as precise, precise with that shot. It makes it so much easier to get the ball out because the back of the club will hit the sand. It stops it from digging in, which is really important if you have thick sand. If you're like me down here in Australia and we've got very firm sand and this is a bit wet, I don't want you opening the club face. But if you live where there's a lot of thick sand, open the club face, which will stop the leading edge digging in even more. But I'm here in Australia and it's a fairly shallow bunker. Okay, so I've given this a little rake. Let's see how we go. We just keep our angle of attack nice and shallow get onto the front foot, hold that follow through position, and we're giving ourselves the best chance of hitting a good bunker shot. Just kicked on a little bit, but that's a pretty decent shot. Gives me an outside six foot chance. I'm a fair chance of getting that in the hole. So the keys there are practice with your car keys, and just practice doing it. You don't have to think about turning, just your hand moving turns you, which is exactly what we want. So if you wanna see some of the most, another video, I'll put another video up there about the common bunker mistakes that'll help you play better golf.